In the playthrough, we saw 18 of the 13 possible actions demonstrated. Here I want to briefly explain what we didn't see. The politics actions are exactly like technology, except they produce tribute tokens and use politic cards. While technology cards tend to be simple and combat focused, politics cards are more complex and deal with breaking the rules to gain an advantage. As mentioned in the playthrough, the refine action turns metal into money. I used a contract to do this in the example game, but I could have used refine if necessary. The final action we didn't see is the top level personnel option, redeploy. When a player chooses this action, they can move crew pieces directly without a ship or transit. The total distance equals your personnel level, and it represents your people using local transportation or hitching a ride on Confederation troop transports. Shadowstar Corsairs has an advanced game which adds some interesting options. Chief among these are the non-player factions, the Confederation cruisers and alien scouts. A special phase token is placed between the last and first players. When play passes over this token, the face-up faction gets a turn, and then the token is flipped over. The Confederation cruiser starts in the middle of the expanse and is mainly defensive. It will attack alien scouts and dissuade nearby player versus player combat. If you attack someone in the same sector as a cruiser, your reputation may suffer, making that next commendation harder to earn. The alien scouts appear at the edge of the board and will move and attack nearby ships and outposts. Both factions are guided by the players, with those furthest behind having the most influence. In the advanced game, a ship can be placed at battle stations at the start of the combat phase. When on alert like this, it can inflict an additional point of damage or suffer one point less, but it can't move during the next turn. Raiding is another option that lets players steal cargo from a rival ship or outpost instead of inflicting damage. And lastly, fortifications are bought and placed in locations, and they grant an outpost the same benefits as a ship at battle stations. The advanced game also includes cards and contracts that deal specifically with the optional rules, lending more depth and strategy to the contest. And that's everything. Thank you for taking the time to consider Shadowstar Corsairs.